Oh, yes. And there's this uh, pricey painting. Yeah. In 1914, the Tsar of Russia purchased Leonardo da Vinci's Benoit Madonna. Mm hmm for $1.5 million. <laughs> it now hangs in the Hermitage in St. Petersburg, Russia. Oh. Now, in 2015, the New York Times computed how long it would take a person making the average per capita income at the time to earn enough to buy the picture mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for the price it had been sold. Mm -hmm. In addition to the Benoit Madonna, mm -hmm, the Times computed the figure for paintings by Cezanne, Van Gogh, Picasso, and Ga Guan. Leonardo's Benoit Madonna led all the rest. The average annual per capita income at that time, yes, was $404. At that rate, it would take the earner 3,713 years to earn enough to purchase the Benoit Madonna. Yes. Now, I want you to notice something here. Yes. See this little baby? Yeah. Bald-headed little baby? Yeah. With chubby legs? Yeah. And a fat little baby? <laughs> it's a fat little baby. <laughs> you know, I happen to like fat little babies. <laughs> I think every little baby should be fat. <laughs> because I think chubby little fat babies are very, very, <laughs> very attractive, really. <laughs> They're not cute. <laughs> if you have a fat little baby, you should feel good about yourself. <laughs> Now, it's nice that Leonardo da Vinci, yes, painted this picture with this woman, yeah, known as the Madonna, yeah, but I don't think that's her actual name, it, and it had this fat little baby, approximately nine to ten months old, yeah, with chubby little legs and chubby little feet. <laughs> Now, it would have taken you 3,713 years to be able to purchase that picture. And I know a lot of people say, well, it's a very pricey piece of art. <laughs> but let's say I wanted to have fat little babies. <laughs> you know how you make a fat baby? No. <laughs> I had once mentioned in maybe a couple videos, and I want to re-explain how to make fat babies. <laughs> You know, it's not just the conception or the gestation. <laughs> the amount of breast milk that you, you produce as a woman has a lot to do with the amount of, uh, of nursing that a child does. <laughs> now, in my mind, the best way to produce the largest amount of breast milk, yes, <laughs> is you just nurse the new baby mm -hmm, from approximately the uh, oh, two months old to 18 months old, uh, 10 to 15 minutes before having sexual intercourse. Yes. Enough time so that the baby sleeps approximately two hours. Mm -hmm. And then you have a large number of orgasms that cause breast engorgement because of the eroticism of your sexual experience. <laughs> now, breast engorgement is very important to the lactation of a woman. Yes. <laughs> after having sexual intercourse and multiple orgasms with the individual that you happen to love at that time could be the actual father or whomever it is that you're having sex with you should wake the baby up and have the baby completely drain your breasts so that the baby's fat and full of milk burp the baby yes put the baby back to bed for about eight to ten hours and then sleep on your stomach your stomach yes and so it squishes your breasts removing any minerals out of your mammary glands that would some way impair the lactation of your breast the next moment mom, 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 mom.